Scrapyard Wars is brought to you by the new D-Brand Grip. Learn more at the link below. This one. You have a brother named Terry? Uh, yes, actually. That's me. I just got another email for something wrong, I guess. Oh, really? Yeah, it was regarding... You're not Johnny. Okay, hold on, hold on. Can I, can I pause the interview for a second? I want to show you a trick. Watch this. Okay. Now you see Linus? Where'd he go? That's right. The disguise today? Not actually very effective. Hey, well, it's too late now. I already did the deal. Oh no, I don't care about the... No, That's I get... I can trust you. I get disqualified <laughs> if... Uh, I get disqualified if you recognize me before we agree on the price. Disqualified for what? We're filming Scrapyard Wars. Oh, okay. Yeah, 980 Ti's work fine for that. Yeah. You know, that's pretty cool. I gotta shake your hand, man. I've actually been following Linus Tech for a long time. Do you wanna be, uh, do you wanna be in the episode? Sure. Well, it's good, because you are. Max! Check out the goods, Dimitri! You know, the irony is I couldn't find my receipts from NCIX for a while, so... <laughs> oh, there's the, uh, no, that up. SLI bridge. Look yeah. at it. Did we get a high bandwidth bridge? Nice! There's another 200. Beautiful. We are blowing, like, the vast majority of our budget on these cards, but, uh, you know what? We're gambling. We're gambling that we can do the rest of the system for, like... 500? There you are. You're not shiny as if I knew what Donnie was. Thanks, Linus. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Anything else I can help with, or are you guys good? I, now that you know who I am, I definitely can't accept any help from you. Okay, so this is a challenge though, Dimitri. Not only do we right. have to find an SLI board, we have to find one with this damn spacing. Yep. To find this a motherboard be tough. that has a middle slot empty. Yeah, so is it just one middle? Out. Just one middle empty slot. Yeah. You know what, that's the most common spacing. We might yeah. be okay. Okay, okay, so we got the high bandwidth bridge, we got the 980 Ti's, let's, uh, let's go back to talking to that asshole with the uh, 920 combo. I messaged this guy, I'm like, yo, will you take 200? He's like, no, period. I'm like, well, okay, here's a combo with a similar grade motherboard, a better CPU, more RAM, and it comes with a GPU, case, power supply, and a hard drive. And he's like, well, maybe you should buy that then. <laughs> Some guys, right? Some people's kids, man. How, how did you feel when uh, Linus sent you the cash picture, the cash picture? <laughs> Uh, yeah, confident. That was so. That was effective. Yes. So. Huh. As soon as I see cash, it's a little more confident to make the journey. I'm yeah. The meadows, so it's not too far to get here. All right. But yeah, I'm magnificently feeling better that it's you. Cool, man. All right. Thanks again, Mike. Thank you. And these better work. Speaking of. I was actually, for reference, I was emailing you back while using the computer with those in it. All right. So that helps. Sick, man. Okay, take care. All right. We've got one successful deal down. Yes. Let's, now uh, the rest of the system to go. Now I the think rest we can do it. We can do it. Okay, so you know what? Now that we're at the SkyTrain station, I think we should actually hang here for a bit, get, get on the computer, and see if we can uh, source source some leads here. Uh -huh. So let's go find like a bench or something, and uh, let's hang for a bit. See, okay, every single time that I see a system deal, I freak out because it seems like it can't be worth it. But I could not find anything cheaper than that. No, you can find stuff that's cheaper, but not with those specs. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we just stumbled across that. So it's just crazy. We stumbled across that ad because I looked up computer case. Yeah. Okay, so it's 6700K. It's 450. Yeah, but they meant to buy DDR4, too. DDR4 is expensive. How, how confident are you that Linus has already messaged down these 1080s? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, these 980 Ti's? Pretty confident. Posted 14 so hours. $510 would be a 6700K and 8 gigs of RAM. Dude. Wait. That's not near us. It's like way over there. It's doable if we get that system. Yeah. I think we should go forward with our original plan. Okay. That's honestly where I am. Only because it's, it's together, we're talking to him, he's communicating with us, he's loading the car as we speak. So it's guaranteed that we have a working system. I have one plus $100. I think if we like, yeah, I think there's, there's think two different roads here. We can get the system 
and be moving. Because here's the thing, consider this. Those parts, although not hard to get to, are all in different places. Cab or bus, train in all these directions, 10 bucks, five bucks, five bucks, 10 bucks, right? So at the end of the day, how much do we have left versus knowing we're gonna get all this for the price of one walk? And we haven't even touched our funds with the exception of $750 to him, and we still might have a little bit of bartering room in terms of like, if he recognizes us, we can't do it. But no. the guy was already wanting to talk business on the phone. And we hadn't even met yet. So I, th I think that's the only thing I'm a little concerned with is the ad said you had two hard drives, two two terabyte hard drives. It's right there. I've only got one. Shit. No, I've only got the one. Barracuda times two. Yeah. That's my other one. Because, I mean, as you know, capacity is kind of a thing yeah. you know, when you're doing large video format. Is this computer staying here? It's staying here with him. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. what I can do, where did the little screws go? Right there. What I can do is drop that off to you later on. It'd probably be better for us if we could just get a few bucks off for the missing drive, if that would work. I mean, I don't really want to go down on price, to be honest with you. You know, I think it's still a pretty good deal for what it is. Okay. So we, we can get that drive later, though, then? Yeah, absolutely. I can get you that drive later. Okay. Wh which way are you heading now? I am heading that way, to towards Richmond. That's in the direction we need to go. I'm wondering if you maybe can drop us off just a few blocks that way. Yeah, that's no problem. If I can slam you in here. Um, we have room for Brandon? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I can stick two bodies in here. Oh, with this, we'll have to leave this stuff in the back. Right. I was really hoping that we could get him down 50 bucks, but he shot that out of the water immediately. Then he showed up with uh, one less hard drive than he said he had when we were looking through the case, and he wouldn't give us any cash. He wouldn't give us back any cash for that at all, which sucked. So we just literally asked him, like, hey, can you give us a ride back to where you need to go? So we got the deal, a discount, parts to sell, and he gave us a ride back to base. And unfortunately, we left the camera man behind. I mean, basically, we have a complete system that works here right now that now we can work backwards on to upgrade where we need. We still have a lot of budget yeah. left over. We still have $537, no, $587 left over. We have enough budget right now to get a 980 Ti and an SSD to finish this system out, but it has a standard Intel box cooler. Um, 90 Ti is probably not quite what we want. It's got a, it's got an Asus Maximus board in it, doesn't it? Yeah. We got, we got a pretty wicked case. We got an optical drive. We got like 16 gigs of RAM. We got a GTX 660. We got a 4770K, an Intel stock cooler, three USB 3.0 expansion cards, um, two monitors, and I think that's it. So, so we want to get a cooler for it. And we want to overclock it. And just crank the CPU, because that would be awesome. We want to try to sell some of the stuff, like the monitors, the optical drive, uh, the two hard drives that we're getting with it. Possibly, but extremely low likeness, the case, because it's actually a really nice case, and we could spec that down. Um, and possibly get a GTX 1080 and something like an H110i, because there's one of those on sale right now. If we can do that, we'd have a very overclockable system with a 1080 in it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I would rather see us get a 1080 with the 4770 yeah. than a 980 Ti with a 6700, which is what we were kind of, that was, that was our conundrum here was, okay, yeah. we could piece together a 6700K within budget, the parts were spread out all over Vancouver area, yeah. and who knows if we could, how easily we could have got them if one of those parts, like if someone snatched the motherboard, we might have been screwed. Yeah. If someone patched, snatched the CPU, we'd be screwed. Yeah. And so it was just too big of a risk to do that. So I think the 1080 is going to be the right way to go if we can get one. Yeah, yeah. So now it's time to get to work. We need to clean up this case because there's a lot of dust in it. We need to verify everything works. To verify everything works, take, take the parts out that we want to sell, get some pictures of them, flip things so we can afford that graphics card. I want to talk to high quality i7 guy here. Yeah. yeah. So this is a $400 build, but has everything that we need, but also some stuff that we don't. But I recognize the Google Maps location here. I think I might have dealt with this guy before. Which is not against the rules, if he doesn't know who I am. Yeah. Sometimes the human memory works in funny ways. Like, I was pretty surprised with myself that I saw a pin on a Google Maps thing on Craigslist and went, you know what, I think I've dealt with that guy in Scrapyard Wars before. Hi, um, I'm calling about the uh, the Core i7 build that you have on um, Craigslist. Yeah. Um, I was wondering, 
is that all the stuff you have or do, do you have other computer stuff as well? And then I was 5X surprised when I got on the phone with him and he immediately is like, I think I've dealt with you before, about a year ago. I think I've dealt with you once before. I'm uh, the guy down in the West End, he bought a computer off me. Oh, really? Yeah, you're buying it or something like that? Oh, all right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you probably don't remember. It was like a year ago. Uh, yeah, no, actually, I do remember that, believe it or not. Yeah, that guy. Okay, cool. Um, well, now that, um, now that, wait, so hold on a second. I forget, did, did, did you know me from anywhere else or just from dealing with you on Craigslist? Um, I, yeah, I, I well, you were the guy that does NCIX kind of video stuff. Okay. Well then, the remember I told you I recognize your voice because I, I watched some of the minus tech tips when you guys threw together by a lot of stuff in NCIX. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, well the. I remember the voice, and of course I remember your voice again. The rules of our competition dictate that I, I can't use like you knowing who I am to, to help me. So I, I might tell you what. Can I just get a little bit of information? Like, do you are you able to part out any stuff or like? Um, what, what, what do you want to steal out of it? Well, basically, CPU, motherboard. Um, I was wondering if you have more RAM, actually, like if you have another stick to make it an even 12. And you're talking about the i7... Uh, the 960. That was i960. Yeah, I don't really want to part it out. I want to start as a home unit because then I just left a bunch of junk, right? Uh, well, hold on, let me let me pitch kind of this to you, because I actually want more RAM, so if I could get another 4 gig stick of RAM, that would be optimal. Um, and then the only actually thing I don't need is the GPU, which is a 6870, that's a sellable GPU. And uh, the power supply, if you could upgrade it to something better. Yeah, I don't have anything better. Uh, those came stock and I have zero stuff left over. Um, GPU, yeah, I mean, I could pull it out. I mean, the RAM, I mean, it depends, like, in terms of price. I mean, I, could, I, I can't change the power supply because that's what it came with and I don't have. It's actually a pretty good power supply, as I remember. Like, what is it? It's like a 750 or something or 620? I can't remember which is which. It's a high current gamer 620, and I need something better. I'll end up wasting that one. <laughs> Better meaning what exactly? I need like a 750. I need something with four PCI Express connectors. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Uh, well, I do have a, another system with the TX750 in it, the Corsair one. Um, let, me, let me just check here. I think I have it. Let me just uh, like double check that. Yeah, it's Corsair TX750. Uh, you're right, that's only two times they fit as well, I think. I'm not positive. The though. TX750, no, that one might have four. Do you have it, it next to you? Yeah, uh, that one might have four. Um... PCI Express connectors, four. It looks like it does have four. Um, okay, and I mean, would you say you're giving me a special deal in any way here? Uh, meaning what exactly? If he doesn't give me a deal because of who I am, that is within the rules of Scrapyard Wars. And I think we can all agree, he didn't give me a deal. Like, like, is this the same deal you would have done for anyone else? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, another question for you. Do you have the SLI bridge that came with that gigabyte board? So I can give you a bunch if you want. I give you one for free, I don't care, because I can amass a whole bunch of them. So can I get back to you in the next uh, couple hours? Sure. Okay, cool. So. Um, I think we like the i7 better. So it was the i7 with an upgrade to 12 gigs, remove the graphics card, change 620 to 750, and um, and then it's 20 bucks off. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Okay, thank you, good sir. Anyway. Okay, so 800 bucks for our graphics cards, 1273 for tomato and ham sandwiches. Beautiful sandwiches. Beautiful sandwiches, the best sandwiches. I think the most fun part of today, aside from getting a baller deal on 980 Ti's, had to be making sandwiches on the back of a MacBook Pro, on the bus, and then eating them. It was actually great. The greatest. Uh, 
$8.40 for SkyTrain passes. That's totally unreasonable. Well, that's just for one way. We still have to get back. We still have, yeah. And like, I don't want to walk back, so there's that. Um, so, so far we spent $820. We actually only have $515 left. So, so if we buy the 375 system, yeah. that covers all of our remaining hardware. No. It doesn't? No, because we still need... It comes with a power supply. An SSD. No, it has an SSD. No, it doesn't. We have still have 140 bucks for an SSD. Here. Yes. We might have to, like, hike for it. Like, what, what are SSDs going for? I would right hike now? for an SSD, man. Here, 120 gig. Only $72. $67. You can get two of those, or two cheap ones, or one we high run, capacity. We run... Okay, wait a minute. Okay. What are you thinking? Am I picking up what you're throwing down? We show up with dual graphics cards and SLI and dual, dual SSDs and RAID? <gasps> RAID? Yeah! <laughs> I actually kind of, I kind of like that idea. Mind you, this Patriot Blaze is only 80 bucks and it's 240 gigs in downtown Vancouver, which is exactly where we're going. Perfect. So that's another And it was option. posted two days ago, so it's fresh. Should we, should we go for the, uh, we could be done Scrapyard Wars in one day. But then what are we gonna do for the rest of the time? Build it? Oh, we can explore the city, cause... So it would just be Linus and Dimitri go on adventures for two as days. As long as we have a budget for like extra ham and tomato. Then I'm good. And uh, some bus tickets, you know what I mean? Because otherwise, we're just walking everywhere. Yeah. Uphill, downhill. Yeah, that's true. But we wouldn't have to carry anything because our computer would be built and benchmarked. Right. And the funny thing is, is we could troll those guys so hard because we'd be like, yeah, so like our system's done because I always say that. Oh, and okay. my system's never actually done. So this would be the first time you can say that. Well, hopefully we haven't gotten all the parts yeah, yet. Yeah, we don't actually have any of it yet. Okay, I'll tell you what. This SSD deal here, this Patriot Blaze, actually looks pretty darn good. Um, like, do you see any, have you seen anything that good? 80 bucks? That's good. Plus that leaves us, what, 40 bucks left over? Here, let me fill it into the sheet. So I don't have to take out my calculator. Man. No. So that leaves us $60 to get to downtown. We're gonna feast. And we, we could afford Subway. <laughs> but should we? No. We should go, we should go to the, uh, the grocery store and we should get lettuce and tomato. And some uh, avocados in there. Some I saw avocados. It. The thing is, I like what this guy's offering because that way it's like an all-encompassing package yeah. that has, definitely has value built into it. Power supply case, motherboard, CPU, cooler. Does have a it's a stock cooler. Well, it's not a great cooler. We won't be able to overclock much, if at all. Yeah. Should I lowball the $80 SSD, or should I just offer asking price? We can't afford it. We don't want to lose it. Let's do, let's see if he... If he's willing, he's willing to do 70 bucks? Yeah. Okay. Shoot. If we want to do this SLI thing, we really are limiting our options. Mm. So, should we list one of them now? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's list one just to see if we can get some money for it in case we can't. Yeah. Let's list it. How much should we list it for? 450? Yeah. Oh, I got a message from Lego. Somebody messaged me. What? Already? Is the price negotiable? This is for the GPU we just posted. Like even if we make like 30 bucks on this, we make money. You guys already know dbrand. They make the precision cut vinyl skins that make your phone look nice and protect it from incidental scuffs and scratches. But today, no, no, not that. Today is something new. This is the grip. And it's not just another phone case. It is the grippiest phone case that you have ever seen. And it's got this super cool, like patented impact protection technology that works super awesome, and it's fully integrated with dbrand's customization, meaning that you can use any dbrand skin with your grip. So check it out today, we've got it linked in the video description.
Someone wants to buy both monitors already. My heart is pumping because the way he yelled, I was like, he broke something. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just not even done taking it apart yet. Like, I got the text, I assumed it was the guy bringing the hard drive. Yeah. So he wants to buy both for 125. 125. Where is he at? And can he come to us? Usually buyers have to go to the buyer or the seller. So. So just say sure? Yeah. Well, what did we list them at? 75 or best offer each. So both, 150. A special deal for both. Remember, we said we'd take 50 each. That's 25 yeah, no, more totally. than we agreed no, to sell for. I'm, I saw this one and was like, hell yeah. Because okay. we only need, for my like mystical spec'd up number that I came up with, we only need 148. And we still have the graphics card to sell. Hello. Okay, thank you. No problem. Yeah. I'm, oh, yes, yes. Yeah, one of them's open. We just tried it right now, too. Do you have uh, this uh, reach your, you have reach your cable, right? It, within that first hour, the guy was here and picked them up, and off they were going. And we've already got buyers lined up for both hard drives. That was, that was like, that was the most important part. That had to happen Absolutely. for this deal to make sense. Absolutely. So now we are literally like so far ahead of the game because we now have the funds for a 1080. If we, okay, so a GTX 1080 is definitely on the table now based on pricing that we've seen already. Uh, we were trying to maybe haggle or, or really lowball some 1080 TIs out there, but that's not gonna happen. But we're gonna have money left over at this point. So I think we're thinking like, we'll go do something fun. When do we end today? Six. Although, communications can end at 6.30. Can someone come buy something at 6.30? That's a form of communication. But we started so late. We're communicating. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> That's a form of communication. No. Come on! Come on, Ed! Come on! <laughs> what time do you want to come by? Do you want to come at 6.30? I mean, that's production problem, not ours. Well, that's obviously not gonna work. That's <laughs> worked before. Come on. Everyone's uh, always extended it. Come on. No, they haven't. What? Call him and ask him, like, hey man, can we? Ex how do you feel about like extending the pickup today? I'm until... just gonna ask the guy if he can be here by six. He's probably gonna say no, it's 19 minutes. Yo, can we go like 10, 15 minutes overtime because uh, we started late? Can we go to like 6, 15, 6, 20 because we started late? Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, it seems like, you know, whenever I'm asking for mercy, uh, actually, you know what, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't really, I can't really argue this. You're usually pretty good about it. I mean, you know, we're going to be back on time, but, uh, you know, okay, sure, yeah. You know, it, it's never worked out badly for me to, to go easy on the other team. That means that they owe us a trip as well. Yeah, you guys, and yeah, that means you guys owe us a, a 15 minute, 20 minute over, overage with interest. With interest. Give them an extra two minutes. And I'm talking like payday loan interest. Okay, so no then, because it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> yeah, no, th yeah. then we'll keep it six o'clock. All right, never mind. see you later. Credit card interest, credit card interest. They're gonna do it anyway. Yeah. It's nice to ask. Yeah, it's nice of them to ask. See if that guy's available tomorrow or anything. I'm going to. <laughs> so if he gave us 15, he'd want an hour. And the thing is, he'd be able to use it for a much more opportune thing than like selling a hard drive for 15 bucks. Yeah. Now, if it was if it was this for 50 or 60, it'd be a little bit. I'd care a little more. Yeah. I don't really care about that. Hey, it's Nick. I was just wondering when uh, you were coming by to drop off that hard drive. Because uh, we have to leave. Sorry, yeah, Cause, cause we, we, have, we have to head out fairly soon. Uh, I know you said you were going to be by in like a few minutes, and it's been, I think, a, an hour or so now, two hours. Uh, so, yeah, just wondering what's going on. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I might have been overhyping Dimitri as a partner a little bit before. Um, he kept bitching about wanting water. Like, oh, oh, we should get water. Oh, can we stop for water? And I'm like, yeah, ate a tomato. Tomatoes are basically water. Expensive water. Okay, Linus, let's get a water before we buy tickets. That's gonna be like three bucks. Like he actually wanted to stop and get water at a convenience store at a SkyTrain station. That would have been like $4 water. It wouldn't have been fancy Fuji water. Just like Nestle water. Anyway, I denied him the water. Not that I'm cheap or that I want Dimitri to suffer, it's just that I don't want to spend the money and Dimitri's suffering matters less to me than spending the money. I see. Yeah, totally different. Okay. What the hell, man? I need my water. 
So we found some uh, really good priced motherboards. Um, X58 platform. Yeah, SLI compatible. SLI compatible for, for 90 bucks. And then we we're looking for CPUs for that motherboard. Yeah. Under 100 bucks. Yeah. I found something for 80 bucks. CPUs for 1366, easy to find. Motherboards, not so easy to find. But I haven't heard anything from the SSD guy, but I have an update for you. I heard back uh, off Craigslist already. Oh, really? From someone looking for the 980 Ti. But what I'd like to do, if we can, is part together an X58 platform. I also have a lead on a six core X58 CPU. The guy wants 234, but I'm gonna try and convince him that's way too much and go from there. Hello, um, I'm calling about the uh, the computer parts for sale from, from your Craigslist Uh Yeah, hi there. Hi. Um, I'm particularly interested in the motherboard, the Gigabyte EX58. Yeah. And the, the RAM, the 16 gigabytes, plus the cooler, the H58. Is it, uh, is it still available? Um, I prefer to sell it as a full unit, but... Uh... We're, I'm, I'm just the next See, we, we already have the CPU and uh, don't need a graphics card or the case. Any chance you're willing to uh, just do some parts? I mean, the are going to have to sell on their own, so yeah, just like we sell a whole unit right now. As a whole unit. Mm. Okay, um, okay then. Thank you. All right, don't worry. Bye-bye. So this is a, uh, an i7, or an i5-750, uh, Hyper 612 cooler, overclock of, overclocking capable SLI motherboard, 16 gigs of RAM. Um, we could probably ask for a little bit off for this crappy 4850, and they're going out of town on Thursday, so they need a quick sale. We might be able to lowball this. So this could be a really good fit for us with our SLI graphics cards. Especially because the spacing fits perfectly. Yeah. So Ed just called me with some cryptic nonsense about being late. We're like seven minutes behind. I and think... only due to the SkyTrain having issues today. Yeah. But do you think that maybe when they called us and they said they need 15 more minutes, they implied that maybe we would be late because of that as well? I don't know. I doubt it. No. He's late. He's late. He didn't ask. Okay. It's not that you want more right now. It's that you want more from Linus. Yes. You want. Yes. You want him to. Pay. He was a jerk on the phone. We needed some time. He said no. Now he's late without calling and asking. I'm okay with it because we called and asked for a little bit of leniency on the time. Right. There was that deal we we're trying to work out. There wasn't gonna be enough time. We were talking a matter of minutes. Just a couple of minutes. We need ten minutes tops. Okay. So I just heard back from the guy with the 950. Okay. Uh, yes. We have the CPU. Well, he's agreed to the price. It's still available. Okay, it's still available. What the heck is going on over there? The weirdest part of the day for me was definitely coming back and like everyone waiting outside. Like I was expecting some kind of like hugely impactful dramatic moment. Like my bike got towed or something. How's it going? It's great. So how wrecked do you get for that? Not at all? Yeah, absolutely, actually. You weren't here on time. Yeah, so you guys were asking us for 20 minutes. Yeah, and you didn't give it to me. What? We didn't take it. I did. No, we he have said, a recording. He said, okay, never mind. I have a recording. He said, okay, never mind. And then we have the phone. Because it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> yeah, no, th yeah. then we'll keep it to the clock. All right, never mind. See you later. And then we canceled the deal. Yeah, nice try, though. And then they were just, like, whining because we had said we wanted extra time with interest and we were like joking with them. So what exactly do you want? I don't know. You can get 20 minutes. Should we take more money? What? No. Or like an hour and a half extra or something? An hour and a half extra? Yeah, I mean, we that had a significant that event that we could have done that seems and you guys said no. I think an hour works. I think that if the event was that significant, they would have fought harder for it. At the end of the day, I was absolutely looking for extra time. Uh, we had lined up a sale for a hard drive that we wanted to get off our hands because we want to sell all this stuff as fast as we can. I added some margin of error because a lot of people are late to things. So I was like, okay, 615, 620. So I asked for time until 615 or 620 and that was denied. So you cheated already. What do you mean cheated? It's been one day. You said you'd be back on time. 
I was very good natured about it. I, I actually don't know what you're talking about because Scrapyard Wars has almost never ended exactly on time. Because of you. And it's been fairly typical. For you to be late. You were late. When? You were the last person here today. Right, because right. I didn't get told the address. Because you didn't ask! I graciously gave them their hour that they asked for, and I had a totally good attitude about it. So, take your hour. All right. When we were speaking with the other team about giving them the 15 minutes that they needed, that they were asking for, I think they, they overreacted in the, the hanging up process, which we didn't even realize happened, because we are in a loud bus station environment. Uh, all right, all right. Credit card interest, credit card interest. So we, we kept talking to the phone, not realizing that they hang up on us. So uh, I think it just kind of a miscommunication on both sides in terms of what happened. This is a regular phone. This is a grip phone. This is for comedic effect. So get a grip coming soon, available at the link in the video description. Love our videos and want to see them sooner? Join Flowplane at the link in the video description. It's got the next episode of Scrapyard Wars.